rapidly evolving landscape of military technology, the B-21 Raider emerges as a beacon of innovation, poised to reshape the United States Air Force's strategic capabilities. Developed by the renowned aerospace giant Northrop Grumman, the B-21 Raider represents the height of advanced stealth bomber design. With the ongoing war between the United States and Houthi in Yemen rapidly intensifying, the B-21 Raider can be the marking difference between both sides in this tight battle, helping the U.S. military's efforts to maintain dominance and address emerging threats. Join us as we reveal the secret U.S. powerful bomber Houthi rebels are afraid of. In a world marked by the global distribution of nuclear warheads, Russia possessing over 6,000 underscores the delicate balance of power. The ongoing conflicts, particularly in regions such as Yemen, emphasize the need for proactive strategies to mitigate threats posed by nuclear arsenals. In this context, the B-21 Raider emerges as a critical component of the United States' efforts to project power and influence in conflict zones, offering an unparalleled deterrent against potential adversaries. To underline its commitment to allies and deter potential adversaries, the United States strategically deploys its existing B-2 Spirit stealth bombers. A prime example of this is the deployment of four B-2 Spirit bombers to the Royal Australian Air Force Amberley Air Base in Queensland, a move designed to protect America's ally from Chinese invasion, which in turn was a showcase of the capabilities of the B-2 Spirit. This was achieved by deploying four B-2 Spirit stealth bombers, which are currently stationed at the Royal Australian Air Force Amberley Air Base in Queensland. This move served as a constant reminder to the world that, despite the B-2 being developed during the Cold War primarily to counter Russian forces, it is fully capable of addressing modern-day threats, including those of the Houthi in Yemen. These four B-2 bombers make up 20% of the entire U.S. Air Force's B-2 fleet, playing a crucial role in America's long-range strike force. The B-2, with a price tag of $2 billion, holds the record as the most expensive aircraft in history. Its significance lies in its unparalleled stealth capabilities, which have maintained its dominance for the past 25 years. With a remarkable range of over 11,500 miles on a single refueling, the B-2 can swiftly fly to any location in the world within hours. Notably, it can deploy up to 16 nuclear bombs while remaining completely undetected. This extraordinary feat sets the B-2 apart as the only aircraft capable of such strategic operations. However, despite the B-2's current status as the top-tier bomber, a successor is on the horizon, one that threatens to surpass it in various aspects. This upcoming sequel marks a significant development in the evolution of bomber technology, presenting new challenges and opportunities for the U.S. military. The strategic positioning of the B-2 Spirit not only served as a start to the advanced capabilities that the B-21 Raider will bring to the table, but also underscored its versatility in addressing diverse strategic challenges, ranging from the Pacific to the Middle East. The B-21 Raider making its highly anticipated debut flight in 2023. This advanced stealth bomber is positioned as a very long-range, large and heavy payload intercontinental strategic bomber for the United States. Developed by Northrop Grumman, the B-21 Raider, akin to its predecessor, the B-2, possesses the capability to deliver both conventional and nuclear weapons to targets across the globe. As a fifth-generation global precision attack platform, the B-21 Raider brings cutting-edge technology to the table. Its networked sensor shoot capability enhances precision, placing targets at risk and making it a significant asset in 21st century warfare. The 21 in the B-21 signifies its role as the bomber is designed for the challenges of the 21st century. The B-21 Raider is not merely an incremental upgrade. It represents a paradigm shift in the U.S. Air Force's bomber capabilities. As it prepares to replace older existing bombers like the Rockwell B-1 Lancer, Boeing B-52 Stratofortress, and the B-2 Spirit, the B-21 Raider, is set to usher in a new era of air superiority. 
The aircraft's open architecture allows for swift upgrades, ensuring it remains at the forefront of technological advancements and adaptable to emerging threats. Its adaptability makes it a versatile asset that can address a wide range of challenges across different grounds of operation, from strategic bombing to intelligence gathering. The anticipated introduction of the B-21 Raider into service by 2027 marks the culmination of over 13 years of development. The journey officially commenced on 2015 when a request for proposal was issued, and Northrop Grumman's proposal was duly accepted. Drawing on decades of experience from the development of the B-2, Northrop Grumman spearheads this project, collaborating with a formidable team of seven of the world's largest manufacturers as Tier 1 suppliers. This exceptional team includes American aerospace manufacturer Pratt and Whitney, Europe's largest defense contractor BA Systems, the world's foremost first-tier aerostructures manufacturer Spirit Aerosystems, Northrop Grumman's Orbital ATK, Rockwell Collins, GKN Aerospace, and Yaniski Industries. Together, under the leadership of Northrop Grumman, these eight companies contribute to the creation of a versatile bomber. The B-21 Raider is not just a weapon. It doubles as an intelligence gatherer, triples as a battle manager, and quadruples as an interceptor aircraft, showcasing its multifaceted capabilities. Featuring its innovative characteristics and collaborative development, serve as proof of the dedication and know-how of the aerospace industry. As the United States deals with the complicated world situation, the B-21 Raider's abilities become even more crucial, especially in conflict areas like Yemen. The ongoing conflict in Yemen involves a Saudi-led coalition and Houthi rebels, resulting in a humanitarian crisis. Precision is vital to minimize harm to people and property. The B-21 Raider's stealth and accuracy make it a potential game-changer in carrying out precise and targeted operations. This highlights its flexibility in handling various strategic challenges. In the context of Yemen, the B-21 Raider's capacity to deliver both regular and nuclear weapons with precision becomes a crucial tool for leaders making strategic decisions. The aircraft's advanced features position it as a valuable asset in addressing the complexities of conflicts, offering a range of options to ensure strategic objectives are met with precision and efficiency. This high precision capability is achievable through the aircraft's blend of intelligent sensors, enabling it to detect threats from the other side of the planet. Its top-level stealth features make it nearly invisible to radar, and it is equipped with heavy armament capable of significant destructive power, even to the extent of leveling entire countries. Moreover, its open architecture allows for swift upgrades to keep pace with evolving times and technology. According to Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall III, there's a possibility for the bomber to operate alongside a drone for executing mini-missions. This particular capability, often exclusive to next-generation fighters like the NGAD, the FCAS, and Tempest, sets the B-21 apart as the only American bomber with such advanced features. For various strategic advantages, the U.S. Air Force aims to acquire as many B-21s as possible. Their plan involves securing a minimum of 100 B-21s initially, with a vision of eventually having up to 200. This ambitious goal signifies a substantial increase compared to their existing B-2 fleet, almost reaching 10 times the current capacity. However, with each B-21 Raider carrying a similar price tag as the B-2, acquiring 200 of them would result in a substantial cost of $400 billion. This is an enormous investment, and to make such an extensive B-21 fleet feasible, significant cost efficiency measures would need to be implemented. Currently, the exact cost of these aircraft remains uncertain, as cost estimates, much like other specifics of the B-21 Raider, are kept confidential. The U.S. Air Force has chosen not to disclose cost details to the public. The rationale behind this decision is to prevent revealing too much information about the classified project to potential adversaries. Maintaining the secrecy of costs aligns with the goal of safeguarding strategic advantages. 
In a landscape where potential adversaries are developing their own B-21 competitors, keeping sensitive project details under wraps becomes a priority for the U.S. Air Force. In light of the United States' Arab counterparts, what kind of machines are the B-21 Raiders expected to come up against? Iran's very own Conqueror F-313. According to Iranian government sources, the F-313 has been conceived and is being produced indigenously in Iran by the Iran Aviation Industries Organization, a division of the Ministry of Defense and i -Riaf. The project is overseen by Hassan Parvin. This aircraft features a canard configuration, described as a stealth fighter constructed with advanced materials, offering a very low radar signature and the capability for low-altitude operations. The F-313 is purported to can take off and land on short runways, and it boasts easy maintenance. The jet has a payload capacity that includes carrying 2,000-pound bombs or a greater number of smaller smart-guided missiles. Alternatively, it can carry at least six air-to-air -air missiles in the category of the PL-12. Notably, the aircraft is equipped with a downward wingtip device, reminiscent of the Boeing Bird of Prey prototype, albeit with a more faceted design resembling the 1970 Lockheed Have Blue, which eventually evolved into the now-retired F-117 Nighthawk. Flight Global has suggested that given the apparent small size and single-engine design of the F-313, it could be powered by reverse-engineered variants of the General Electric J-85 turbojet, an engine type that Iran is known to possess. Iran has obtained General Electric J-85s, along with several other jet engines, both from old Northrop F-5s and other American aircraft in its inventory from pre-1979, and newer engines from Russia and China. The Iranian government claims that the aircraft's design was crafted using Kasha's three-dimensional interactive design software. Furthermore, they assert that it underwent testing through simulation software, including Gambit numerical grid generation software, fluent flow analysis and simulation software, and CFDM ODLs 7. The aerodynamics of the F-313 were reportedly evaluated using small size jet and propeller flying models. Two days after the unveiling ceremony, a top 10 features list of the fighter jet project was published by the Mare News Agency. Interestingly, the F-313 is reported to be designed with extra stability, eliminating the need for a fly-by-wire system. A prototype version of the F-313 was displayed to have test flown at some point before the official presentation. According to the head of the design team, two sub-sized models have been created and tested. One of these models uses a propeller engine, while the other employs a small microjet engine. Both models were showcased in a video clip, accompanied by detailed descriptions provided by the head of the design team on the same day. According to experts, the unclear video released by the Iranians, supposedly showcasing the F-313 in flight, suggests that it may not be a manned fighter jet, but rather a small radio-operated drone. This observation aligns with statements from the designers, who indicated that the videos from the F-313 introduction ceremony on February 10, 2013, depicted a drone rather than a manned aircraft. The Iranian Minister of Defense, in response to foreign media claims about the project, stated that these reports were inaccurate. He confirmed the successful testing of the engine used in the design and clarified that while the aircraft had not yet been flown, taxi and flight tests were planned for the near future. On March 5, 2017, Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hassan Dekan declared that the F-313 was ready for flight testing. Described as a logistic aircraft for short distances and a light fighter jet designed for military and training operations, the F-313 conducted taxi tests with its prototype on April 15, 2017. This iteration featured several modifications, including an enlarged cockpit, dual jet exhausts, and a flyer turret in the nose. Despite these developments, doubts about the viability of the aircraft persist 
independent verification of its development status is lacking, leading some commentators to question whether the F-313 is a legitimate project or a potential hoax. Media sources outside of Iran have raised concerns about the aircraft's ability to meet stated performance metrics, suggesting it might be a scale prototype or mock-up. A BBC News Persian service journalist, Cyrus Amini, even likened the F-313 to a cheap imitation of the American F-22. While these statements may be funny and seem true, Iran maintains a policy of not disclosing technical details about its arsenals, making it challenging to independently verify many of the claims made about the aircraft. Flight Global reported that unnamed Israeli experts have expressed skepticism regarding the indigenous fighter jet presented by Iran on February 2. According to these experts, the showcased aircraft appears to be nothing more than a very sleek plastic model. The critique includes observations about the canopy, which seems to be constructed from basic plastic and minimal air intakes. The overall impression conveyed is that of plastic parts were affixed to an old flying platform. This skepticism raises questions about the authenticity and functionality of the presented aircraft, emphasizing the need for concrete evidence and transparent information to validate Iran's claims regarding its fighter jet program. Another noteworthy adversary is the Russian PAKDA. The Russian PAKDA, a forthcoming addition to the Russian Air Force's strategic capabilities, is generating significant interest with its potential as a long-range, low-observable, strategic bomber. Positioned to rival its American counterpart, the B-21 Raider, the PAKDA is designed as a subsonic aircraft with a versatile payload, including cruise missiles, hypersonic missiles, and precision conventional and nuclear bombs. The aircraft's distinctive flying wing design, akin to the B-21 Raider, marks it as a formidable platform with diverse combat capabilities. A key feature of the PAKDA is its incorporation of cutting-edge local electronic warfare and stealth technologies. These technological advancements are crucial in minimizing the aircraft's radar cross-section and concealing the heat signatures produced by its engines, enhancing its survivability in contested operational environments. However, historical trends in Russian military development suggest a prioritization of artillery over stealth, potentially resulting in the PAKDA being less stealthy than its American counterpart. This mirrors the contrast observed between the Russian Su-57 and the American F-22 and F-35, with the Su-57 regarded as the least stealthy among fifth-generation fighters. To compensate for potential stealth limitations, Russia is expected to emphasize armament capacity, a characteristic that has been a hallmark of its military strategy. The PAKDA is anticipated to boast an impressive payload of up to 80,000 pounds, surpassing the armament capacity of the B-21 Raider. This strategic decision aligns with the historical trend seen in the Su-57, which exhibits a greater payload capacity compared to both the F-22 and F-35, as the PAKDA is scheduled for deployment in the late 2020s, anticipation is building for a compelling rivalry in the bomber domain. The face-off between the United States and Russia promises to be an intriguing chapter in the ongoing evolution of military aviation technology, with both nations vying for supremacy in this critical aspect of strategic deterrence and power projection. The Chinese Shen H-20 has joined the club of super-advanced bombers, putting China on the map for top-notch strategic capabilities. This not only highlights the changing global military scene, but also makes the United States rethink its defense plans. Even though there's not a lot of official info about the Shen H-20, what we do know suggests it's a serious aircraft. Its flying wing design, similar to the B-21 Raider and the Russian PAKDA, tells us that major countries agree on the importance of stealth and high-tech features in the next-gen bombers. Looking at computer-made images from reliable sources gives us a sneak peek into the Shen H-20's cool features like its weapons bay, airborne radar, adjustable tail wings, and stealthy air intakes coated with special material. 
All these things point to the fact that China is really focused on building an advanced stealth bomber, showing they're serious about improving their air capabilities and staying competitive globally. In today's world, with lots of complicated relationships between countries, the Shen H-20 adds another layer to how the United States needs to think about its defense plans. This new player means the U.S. has to stay on top of the latest technology to keep the country safe. With big countries competing to have the best fifth-generation bombers, the U.S. military has to be smart and flexible in how it responds. As the Shen H-20 continues to develop, people are curious about what it can do and how it might change how wars happen in the air. Its arrival reinforces the idea that new technology and being able to adapt to changes will be really important for military capabilities in the future. The Shen H-20 represents China's first foray into the realm of self-developed dedicated stealth bombers. Anticipated to operate at subsonic speeds, the aircraft is expected to be armed with a diverse payload, encompassing conventional, hypersonic, or nuclear missiles. While the timeline for its deployment seems more distant compared to its counterparts, this delay allows for the possibility of a grand entrance onto the global stage, especially if the Shen H-20 lives up to the indications of its formidable capabilities. In comparison to the Russian PAKDA and the American B-21 Raider, the Shen H-20 faces a unique position in terms of development and deployment. While the B-21 Raider benefits from decades of technological advancement, notably from its predecessor, the B-2 Spirit, the Shen H-20's potential strength lies in its relative newcomer status, with the opportunity to introduce cutting-edge features that could surpass existing capabilities. The B-21 Raider, with its extensive experience, has established itself as a source of concern for adversaries of the United States and a source of confidence for its allies. The aircraft's advancements in engines, avionics, armament, and cost efficiency have positioned it as a pinnacle in bomber technology, setting a high standard for global counterparts. As the Shen H-20 progresses in its development, the global strategic landscape is poised for a new dynamic, with three major players, the United States, Russia, and China, vying for supremacy in the realm of fifth-generation bombers. The Shen H-20's potential capabilities raise anticipation for how it might shape the future of aerial warfare and strategic deterrence, providing a unique perspective among its technologically advanced counterparts. Thank you for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen for another interesting video. See you there.